couple of years ago, I was surfing around the internet and I came across a really cool article about a small company in Russia who would recycle two liter plastic bottles and turn them into brooms. Crazy idea, right? They take the plastic bottles and set them up into a machine that they've created that extracts small thin strands of plastic rope, which they then can bundle up and turn them into heads of brooms. This blew my mind and ever since then I've wanted to try it for myself. Now over the years I've seen a lot of different tutorials pop up and a lot of different inventions made on how to do this very thing. The problem is the cost of the equipment and materials range anywhere from about $5 to $30. The purpose of this video today is to see if we can make plastic soda bottle string at home by making a simple little device that costs absolutely nothing to make. Now the only materials you're gonna to need to make this work are some kind of a knife, a block of wood, and a saw. And the only reason we're using this saw is to cut the block of wood. If you have some kind of a knife like this with the serrated teeth, you might be able to get away with just the knife and the wood itself. You can also make this work with just a basic kitchen knife, and I'll put that to the test for you a little later on. Now to make my device today, I'm using a block of two by two that I cut five inches long. And you don't have to use the same thing. You could get away with a thicker tree branch or any other kind of wood as well. Now since I have a bench vise, I am gonna use that, but that's not required. In any case, this is how it works. Go ahead and clamp your piece of wood so around an inch of the top is showing, and we're gonna cut this with the grain. You can look down at the top of your piece of wood and see which way the lines are running, and we're gonna be cutting with those lines. With our block in place, we can begin cutting. So grab your saw and start cutting exactly down the middle until we make a cut one inch deep. Once the saw is bottomed out at one inch, we can turn the blade around and cut horizontally until it cuts halfway through the block from the front side. Now all that's left to do is take your knife blade or something like a chisel and position it halfway down the right side of the block and give it a little tap. This will knock a little wedge out of the bottom right corner and as easy as that, our machine is pretty much ready for use. The only thing left to do now is add the blade. Now with this simple system, you can make a thickness of rope just about as wide as you want, but I like mine to be on the thinner side, so I'm using the butt end of an eighth inch drill bit as a guide. Place your spacer down into the corner of the block and then take the tip of your knife and push it into the corner as well. Now move your fingers out of the way and then apply a little pressure to the tip of the knife until it sinks into the wood. Once the tip of your blade is in about half an inch, push the rest of your blade into the side piece of wood until it grabs on and holds firmly in place. So update guys, our simple machine is finished and it's completely ready to start making plastic string. And now there's just one small modification we need to make to these bottles before they're ready to run through it. Now if you look down near the bottoms of the bottles, you'll see this little ridge line that we can use as a guide for cutting it off. We want to make the smoothest, cleanest cut possible because that'll give us the most plastic string we can get. Bonus hack, we get a little plastic bowl out of it. Now if you feel like you did a bit of a hack job with the end of your bottle, don't feel bad. You can easily clean it up with a pair of scissors. Sweet. All right guys, so moment of truth, we've got our bottle prepped and ready, we've got our machine standing by, and all we have to do now is take the bottom edge of our bottle, feed it through the gap of the wood, and help it make one full rotation. Perfect, I think it's ready. So I've helped the bottle do one full rotation, and what that's done is it's cleaned up any jagged edges on the bottom. And you can see how on the back here we've got a piece of string sticking out now, and if we give this thing a tug, you can see the bottle starts spinning, giving us loads of extremely strong plastic string. So you can see now it's as easy as tugging on this string and the whole bottle unwinds and gives us a nice bundle of strong plastic rope. This is really about as thin as you can get this stuff. If you go any thinner, it's gonna start breaking on you. But that is really thin. I'm loving it. Use that for fishing line. Now just for convenience, I turn this thing over sideways because it relieves the pressure on the bottle so it's not rubbing up on the knife. It also allows me to grab the string and pull it out at a more comfortable angle so I can do this all day. Pretty sweet, isn't it? Just keeps going and going and going. Now you might be wondering what kind of uses there are for plastic string, and the answer is probably as many uses as there are for normal string. You could use it as improvised fishing line, you could use it to rig a snare or hold up your tent out in the woods, or if you use something like my rope making machine, you might be able to wind it into an actual length of rope. Now there really are so many ways that you could approach this, guys. You could use kitchen knives, you could use hunting knives, you could use whittling knives, you could even use razor blades out of your utility knife and just shove that up in there as well. And as far as the thickness of the rope goes, you can make anything almost as thin as fishing line to about as thick as any cable that you'd want to make. And for as thin as this cord is, it really is pretty strong stuff. Of course you can break it. But the thicker you go, the much more difficult it is to break. Ugh. That's as hard as I could do it. <laughs> so would you look at that? Our little homemade machine that cost absolutely nothing to make is working and it's working very well. So let's move on to all these plastic bottles and transform them into string.
Sweet. If you run your string in a line across the room, it'll help relieve the tension. And then if you wind it around a water bottle, it'll organize it into a neat little bundle. So update guys, we recycled 12 2 liter bottles and made nearly 1200 feet of plastic string. We did measure our results and found that one 2 liter bottle makes nearly 100 feet of 8th inch plastic string by itself. So it looks like this idea works guys, and it works great. Using nothing but extremely simple materials you can probably find in the woods and definitely around your house, you can turn your old 2 liter bottles into a piece of plastic cordage. And I have to give credit where credit's due. The simplicity of this project came from an idea I got from Creek Stewart in his book, Survival Hacks. And I'll put an Amazon link to that down in the description. And as always, thanks for joining me for this project. I'll be looking for you in the next one. Talk to you then. Dang it. <laughs>